Hey guys, Luke here, and I believe this is episode 24 of my Gold Coast Titans Rugby League Manager uh, Let's Play. Now hopefully uh, you people are enjoying it, and if you haven't realised, you can download uh, the game from the description below. Uh, it's just a Dropbox link, that's where I downloaded it, so I don't believe there's any viruses. If there isn't, or if there is, I'm sorry about that, but I don't know, I, I haven't got any, so... Um, but I didn't. I wasn't actually the one who's uploaded this. I trust a subscriber who left in the comments like ages ago. So, uh, but it's the only way you can get it because the website doesn't have it anymore. There used to be a website you can download it, but I believe they're making a new one. Uh, so that's the reason it's it's all gone because they got an actual publishing um, person. So it's going to be like an official game sort of thing. So I'm pretty happy about that. But let's get into the actual game. Taking on the Penrith Panthers, who I believe have got a pretty good record this year. I don't think we've lost to them. I think we've played them two or three times, possibly. And I've come out the winners uh, in all of them. So, let's not waste any time. Also, in team news, um, I was thinking about dropping Huntington. You see, he's only professional. Um, but I decided to leave him there. And um, we'll, we'll just keep Joe Nalavar, um as, a, as like a backup or whatever. Because, uh, you know, I don't see any need to get rid of him. It uh, looks like Ashley Harris done a little bit tired from the last game. I'm, I'm not really sure how the uh, like fitness sort of stuff works. Because... All the time I see, um, like, it, it seems to say they got, like, 99 fitness or whatever, but then when it comes to it, it comes to the fact uh, they don't have any. Uh, we have got two things up our sleeve. I didn't go and have a look, but it looks like we've got the same stuff as what we always do. Um, the halves and the forwards were better, but the backs not as fast or whatever. So, um, yeah, we've got a few things up our sleeve, which is uh, quite nice. Oh, I thought that was number 10. He went straight through there, which is um, Luke Bailey, but it wasn't. Harrison gets it to Falou. Gets it out to Michael Gordon. Can he take it around the fullback? Tom Humble. Yes, he can. Michael Gordon should make it to the line. He's got lots of pace and he is going to put it right under the post. Great stuff there. Good shit, Michael Gordon. Flash Gordon been in excellent form lately. Um, so, yeah, very happy with that. Can we keep the goal? And once again, I forgot Bo Henry. He's still the goal kicker. God damn it. Maybe we do have the speed as well. Looks like it's um, lit up, actually. Obviously, we've got to make a line break to do it, but it is an option there. Yes, we do have it, I believe. Okay, so it looks like we've got a pretty good set here. Boat for Loon goes himself here. Now a backline movement to the right-hand side. We've got a few plays in there. Ashley Harrison ends up with the ball. Sorry, this is the backline movement, I should say. Wrap around with uh, Falloon and Bo Henry. Now fifth tackle. Not a great set, but whatever. So he's able to kick down Simmons or someone's going to go and get it. And it's is David Simmons. Um, pretty good stuff here. Oh, no, they got a massive um, overlap to the right-hand side. I don't know. Okay, so adapt all the stuff they did last episode. It, it's not affected by it. And Blake Austin playing second row. That's interesting. I probably wouldn't play him second row myself, but whatever. And a great tackle there. Tom Humble takes it to the line. I'm so off-put by the numbering in this game. Like... Tom Humble being number six, playing fullback, and they're going to score a try here. That was a really nice play from them. Um, good stuff, whatever. Not good for us, but really nice well work play there. They had all the field position they should have scored, and they will sort the conversion. Luke Walsh doesn't miss. He's a great um, goal kicker. He's a pretty good kicker in general, actually. Probably underrated in terms of that. Uh, they didn't really offer too much else, but yeah, hopefully he's doing okay in Super League. If you're a Super League fan, let us know how Luke Walsh is going. I'm pretty curious. Number 11 takes a run there. We do need to get some people off, so we'll take off Luke Bailey. Third tackle. A bit of an overlap here, and good stuff there by Idris, whoever it was. Number 4, Idris wrapping them up here. Going back down the short side. Number 12 is through. Oh, I guess past Wellens. They're going to get an offload here as well, which is going to be shit. Throw him over the side. Oh, we couldn't throw him over the sideline. They score. I don't know. I didn't even see Nagama there. Like They're all like overlapping each other. Man, that shit. That's crap defense. We've been so good up until, like, right at the end, and then we just concede a try, like, on the fourth tackle or whatever. So annoying. And a rub into, into injury. They convert the goal from the sideline, which I'm not too thrilled about, to be honest with you. So we need to come up with a big set here. I don't want to use the defensive rally just yet, because uh, it is only six points. If they score again, then we might have to, you know, that might be a different... Um, might be a different answer then, but hopefully that doesn't happen. We're putting on a uh, reserve here, so a bit of a slow play of the ball. Number 13 takes it up, tackled by a whole bunch of players. And number 9 stretch throughs at Kingston. He's taken around Wellens. Wellens can't tackle for shit this game. And they get dragged down there by um, Jamal Idris. They should have the numbers here. That was like a great play. Paul Wellens can't get to him. 
And uh, we are going to have to play that defensive rally because we can't defend for shit, particularly Paul Wellens this game. He's playing absolutely terrible. Maybe Michael Gordon too, uh, fullback, wouldn't be such a bad option at this stage. And they missed the goal uh, from the sideline, which is good for us. We're going to put on Ashley Harrison at this stage. And we are going to use... Oh, yeah, we're going to use defensive rally. We can't let them score. Although maybe I should have left that for the second half to start. Uh, probably a dumb move. We need a bit of a blitz here, I reckon. Maybe even in the next zone as well. Oh, this is so easy. So fucking easy, man. What is going on here? Umbrella it. We need the wingers coming in. They just do that same play over and over again. Little inside ball there. Fifth tackle. We will have one chance. Do we go for a line break? What do we do here? Should be taken on the full and it's not. If they don't run back and get it. Can we get a penalty? Probably not. Uh, we're going to have like maybe two more tackles. Something like that. And that's a pretty decent run there by Greg Bird. Both for Loon goes across field. Just goes cross field really. Doesn't do much else. And now he's out of position. Bohen is out of position. We've got number 12 doing the playmaking here. And that's going to be half time. Piss poor really. Looks like we're going to be on the end of a bit of a flog in here. If um, things don't pick up. And really. Panther side. This this isn't the Panther side right. Like of 2014, 2015. This is like 2013 Panthers. When they look like they were shit. So we've got to criticise them. And you know they definitely deserve it. They've been absolutely shit house. Uh, hopefully we can just muscle up in defense a little bit, and um, yeah, that's just just that's just what we've got to hope for, really. So green zone, um, got a blitz going on here. Yellow, probably should continue the blitz, and then orange zone. We'll start. Yeah, maybe we should start sliding. I don't know. Really don't know. I don't know what's the best solution here. Oh, sorry, what's the best option? Number 33, Dane Weston. This goes through so easy. I need to make subs. I'm running my guys into the ground with um fitness and that. Poor management by me, I'd have to say. Liam Fulton, who's come on. Greg Bird, very tight. Holy shit, Nate Miles. He's got no energy. Luke Bally on for Nate Miles. It's got to happen. We have great field position, but so we should take advantage of this. I am tempted to use the penalty and like the line break and all that sort of stuff, but I don't want to waste it. If we can get a try here, then we can go for it, you know? Number 21, very, very tired there, as is everybody in our side, really. Oh, we actually got a penalty. Holy shit. Didn't realize that. Um, awesome stuff there. So we really should be scoring here, I reckon. I don't reckon. I know we should be scoring. Both Falloon goes himself and he drops the fucking ball. Falloon, he's so good usually. What are you doing? Is it because he's tired? Like, why is our fitness so bad all the time now? No, no offloads. Okay, good shit. Idris coming up with the goods once again. He's very quick on this game, which is a bit funny. Holy shit, Humble just dragged someone just then. And there's going to be another try. Come on, we are losing to a terrible side at home. Fitness of our players is fucking atrocious at this stage. Like, this isn't my bad management. Falloon on 11, like, what's going on here? Oh, I don't even know how we can deal with this. Oh, and they slot the conversion as well. Insult into injury right there. Huntington will go into hooker for a little bit. And we'll move Red Bird. Oh, who else can come on? We haven't really got anybody. Oh, Ashley Harrison can come on. The Matua will go into Falloon spot. We just need to defend here. So those two guys swapping around. Then we can bring on Ashley Harrison. Fifth tackle here. As long as we get the ball, we're good. Come on, get it. Good shit. Alright, we've got to do something pretty quickly here. And we drop the ball number 10. Oh my god, our fitness. What has happened? We're, we're done. They can't make a tackle. Like, is, is it is that because I put them on a blitz? Like, I, I don't... Can 
It must be because I put him on a blitz or some shit. Like, what? What is even happening here? Huntington will go into... 5-8. Oh, Falloon can't even play either. He's running straight through from the kickoff. Paul Wellens got a fair bit of fitness, so he's, he's our only hope, really. If they do make a tackle there. Huntington it was. Come on, just get the ball. We don't get the ball. Wellens coming up with another big tackle there. He's just going to have to do a, be a one-man show, really. Straight through again. Wellens did incredibly well just then. If we don't concede here, it's all due to Paul Wellens. They go the short side, straight through again. And we haven't conceded as of yet. Paul Wellens going to have to get back there because they're not going to get back. Should be a try here for Panthers. And it's not. All right, come on, we need a penalty here. And we get the penalty. Um, we just need to score a try. We need to kill a bit of time here. Got, oh, I, we can't win, obviously. The, you know, the clock's... You know, the clock's not with us. The, the score line is really bad. I think it must be because I put them on the blitz there for too long. I, I've seen they've got the conserve shit there as well. So, just poor, poor stuff from me. Oh, what am I doing going through the forwards? I know forwards might have to be what it is. Oh, and we get another penalty here. Um, who can we bring on? Liam Fulton is um, pretty good at this stage. We'll put him in the centers. We'll put... Huntington, we'll put him at 5'8". Put both for Loon. Oh no, we can't put him on yet, but we'll put him on for Bo Henry. Nate Miles will come on for Luke Bailey, Greg Bird on for Luke Douglas. And that way we can at least just roll through the forwards, I reckon. Gonna have to keep the touch here. So they've got a sim bin. We do have a line break up our sleeve. Um, so we could use that, possibly. We're all out of whack here in terms of all our players and that. And they knock it on. First tackle, Luke Douglas. I can't make the fucking changes. Oh my god, so frustrated. And they're going to score here. Paul Wellens is not any chance. Where is he? They bust straight through once again. Get a pass away. Luke Walsh gets it to a Lachlan Coot. He's going to get run down, funnily enough. Now, here's all our, our reinforcements coming on. All in weird positions, but whatever. Just defend. And the take out of two, we give away another penalty. Such a shit game. Look at oh, look at the fitness of our guys. You can't win. You just can't win when it's like that. doesn't matter what sort of calls and shit we've got up our sleeve. You just can't win. And we actually have to kick off, which is dog shit. Why do we have to kick off? 36 loss, our heaviest defeat, I believe. I think we got beat by Rabbitohs, but we're sort of in the game, at least, with the Rabbitohs. We're just we're never in this one. Fitness was... Oh, I still can't get over that, how bad that was. I'm sorry for repeating myself, guys, over and over again, but let's take a look at the man of the match. Luke Walsh, Dean Vare, and Sam Kendry. So, Walsh is pretty good. He ran the show fairly well. Although, they didn't have to do too much towards the back end of the game. We are going to retain our spot in third position. Uh, looks like Warriors also slipped up a little bit as well. Maybe a draw or something. Um, Daly M points. Take a look at that. Ben Barber once again still on top. Both balloon dropping down a little bit, but that's just going to happen when you lose a game. Um, all this sort of stuff all seems to be pretty good. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to leave the video. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. I mean, we did lose. We don't lose too often, so hopefully, that's not a bit of a a thing that makes you want to leave and not watch. Uh, I don't know why I said that, but um, yeah, if you can leave a like, that'd be very much appreciated. If you want to subscribe to me, very much appreciated as well. Um, sub count just incredible so far. And, um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you for my next video. Also, I've got a Twitter, Twitter page. It's uh, Mr. Luke on my T's, my Twitter handle, and Facebook is in the description below. So, once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.